Hi, welcome to Simplifying Fractions. In math, whenever you get an answer that's a fraction, you always want to look at it and make sure that it's in simplest form. Well, what does that mean? Well, I'm going to look a little bit more in detail at the numbers 10 and 16. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write 10 here. And I'm going to think, what numbers can I multiply to get the answer of 10? What factors? 1 times 10 and 2 times 5. Now I'm going to look at 16. What numbers can I multiply? What factors to get 16? 1 times 16, 2 times 8, and 4 times 4. Finally, I'm going to look and see what these two numbers have in common. Well, they have one in common and they have two in common. And I'm going to choose the number that's the biggest, two. I'm going to bring the two and divide both the numerator and the denominator by two. 10 divided by two is five. And 16 divided by two is eight. And that's the fraction in simplest form. Let's take a look at another one. Let's say that you had 14 over 63. Well, what are the factors of 14? 1 times 14 and 2 times 7. What are the factors of 63? 1 times 63 and 9 times 7. It's also divisible by 3. So 3 times 21, and that's it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look and see what they have in common. Well, they've got 1 in common and 7, and that's it. 7 is the biggest number, so I'm going to take 7, and I'm going to divide the fraction by 7, the numerator and the denominator. 14 divided by 7 is 2, and 63 divided by 7 is 9. And so that's the fraction in simplest form. They're still equivalent to each other. They're just expressed with different numbers. Let's look at one more. Let me show you how to simplify a fraction a different way. Let's say that you see the numbers 10 and 20 and you think, oh, they have 5 in common. So you divide them both by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2 and 20 divided by 5 is 4. Be sure and look at your fraction and make sure that it's simplified because this one isn't. These both have 2 in common. So I'm going to divide both of them by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the answer is 1 half. Now, if you wanted to know what the greatest common factor was, for these, you would take the two numbers that you divided them by and multiply those. 5 times 2 is 10. So you could have used 10 to simplify 10 20ths, and you would have gotten 1 half. Both ways result with the same answer. Think of the factors that they have in common, the greatest the greatest number, the biggest number. Well, I know that 56, the factors that come to my mind are 7 times 8, and 7 doesn't go into 64, but 8 does, so they both have 8 in common. So I'm going to divide them both by 8. 56 divided by 8 is 7, and 64 divided by 8 is 8, and the answer is 7 eighths. And is 7 eighths in simplest form? Yes, it is. And this is Simplifying Fractions. Thank you for joining me. Be sure and check out my other videos online.